Good afternoon, welcome to the Child Protection Helpline. You're speaking with Sonia. Describe the house to me. The father threw the mother across the room. How did the baby look? Certainly you could hear things being smashed and broken. Blood all over the floor. And he was quoted to say, I nearly died last night. What happens behind closed doors, nobody ever really knows. We get reports from everywhere and we knock on the doors of all sorts of houses. She's terrified. The father arrived to pick her up from cello class. He hits her until she vomited blood. What I'm trying to get to with the point of truth. Your home and your family is your safe place. Growing up seeing that people that love each other can also be so unsafe to each other. The psychological impacts of domestic violence. You and I know the great majority of our parents do not wake up in the morning wanting to do harm to their children. So I think about what if I've decided it's safe for that child to stay home, but it wasn't safe. A lot of how people present to us is fear. They're stuck. We're sitting with a whole swag of risk right here. People are at the point of breaking. Very small child, he was actually injured really significantly. This is the end result if we don't get it right. You have to make a decision. Are we going to leave them kids there to be more damaged? Or are we going to give them an opportunity for a better life? I say to myself, they're my fucking kids, you know? Like, give my kids back, give my kids back, they're my kids. You can't unsee what you see in this job but there's moments of hope that keep you going. Our job is child protection. We have to make the choice that is right for that child. There's always a chance that this might be enough to break the cycle. So that's where my hope lies.